Yes, YouTube. Mm -mm. Mm. So Bikili announces he's out of the Tokyo Marathon on the 3rd of March. 3rd of March. Mm -mm -mm. Is that a... Is that a... What do you guys think? Is that a good or bad decision? Should he have done it or not? I don't know. You know what I like about uh, Bikili? Uh, it's a... Uh, <laughs> It's one of the most muscular, most muscular guys I've seen, man. Well, most muscular runners I've seen. Mr. Bikili, sir. <laughs> hey. What do you guys think? Good or bad decision? So he says he's got an injury, right? Let's see if I can put some, some muscle on Mr. Bikili, sir, yeah. Make him look like a, a dove dude. <laughs> huh? Inch. No, but seriously. Have you seen the thighs on this guy? Huh? YouTube. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? All right. Do you know, I was actually looking forward to seeing him in the, uh, the London Marathon, so... It's a bit gutted when he when he announced that he's running in Tokyo. Mm. And for all of you that have been counting that guy out, <laughs> I wouldn't make that mistake if I was you. Let's not forget this guy's a, a world record holder, and with all the fast athletes that are coming out at the moment, nobody's coming near that guy. Nobody's broken that record. Even Mr. Kipchoge himself. You know what I mean? I think if there was anybody out there to challenge Kipchoge's world record, it'd be Mr. Bikili. So, I've never counted him out. Those of you who have, I think he'll have the last laugh. How are we doing with this muscular body here, sir? Bikili. Uh, huh? See if I can capture this guy in a few strokes here. Huh? Put in these legs. He ah the legs, the legs, the legs, the legs, you guys, the legs. It's the legs. Let me exaggerate the legs here. Tap. Tap. Huh? Tap. <laughs> <clears throat> I think he's made the right decision to uh, to give the injury a rest. I think it's long overdue, actually. Remember, he dropped out of how many races? The last race I watched him dropped out of was um, uh, Amsterdam. Like, one mile from the finish. <clears throat> it, okay, fair enough. He'd been dropped by the leading group. Or maybe about three or three runners, three or four runners. <clears throat> and he drops out. Maybe maybe, maybe he could feel uh, some sort of, I don't know. Maybe he could feel some sort of pain coming on. I can't get the foreshortening going on here. I'm struggling with the foreshortening, Mr. Bikili, sir. Give me some help here. I'm on your side. Let's just put that first there for now. Let's just put that first there for now. We make mistakes and we make corrections later. I think he's doing the right decision to take a rest. You know what I mean? It's long overdue. He dropped out of Dubai. You know what I mean? And uh, <clears throat> speaking to his coach last year at the London Marathon. And by the way, I was looking forward to stalking him again. As some of you say. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be back. <clears throat> I'm waiting for the guys. <laughs> and if Mo Farah would just tell me where he's at. Listen. It's all good. The quality of uh, runners that are out there at the moment. Ooh, my, 
down. Oh my days. The world records that have been smashed. Oh my days. <clears throat> Don't write Pikili off, you guys. Um, <laughs> rest is going to do him good. A rest was long overdue. These guys, they go through so much mileage, man. So much mileage. <clears throat> so, to all of you who have written Bikili off, I would, uh, big mistake, <clears throat> still count him in. So, maybe he's going he's gonna to need about minimum six months rest for, I don't know what type of injury it is. Um... But I had noticed that, uh, I think it was this, la la not last, 2016's marathon, he had, he had put on a bit of weight. I thought he was, he was running a bit too, too chunky. Uh, when he ran past us, even Saeed said so. The muscle definition on his back was quite flat. Hmm. I was, I was a sketch looking, yeah? I'll have to tidy it up later. Mr. Bikili says he's got K. Bikili written there. Bam, bam. K. Bikili. Yeah? Yeah. But it's the legs, man. Mm, the legs. This guy's got muscle on him. Yeah, Yanka sketch. <clears throat> so that's him out of the Tokyo Marathon um, we got in the London we got Elud obviously Mo Keep Sang and Keep Tum who just broke the what was it the half marathon world record that was set by Tedesi <sighs> blistering performance and I like the videos where you got the, the side angle shot Showing us the technique, man. I, I just seen a beautiful video. I think it was Chip Tagai. 10K. It's one of the most beautiful videos I've watched. The announcers kept quiet. It was just the guy on the bike. Just the way I like to cover my videos. Silence. Just let the viewer see. And let the video speak for itself. Birds tweaking in the background. Beautiful. I mean, just showing the video raw for what it is. Bang. Uh, so I'd like to wish Mr. Bikili a speedy recovery if ever he gets to watch this video. And uh, if he sees, if any of you Ethiopians see Saeed out there in Ethiopia, he's there at the moment. Uh, just uh, show the boy the ropes. <laughs> show the boy the ropes. I told you guys, he's chasing Kipchoge. <laughs> Somebody asked, what's Saeed's PB? Not good enough. <clears throat> Not good enough. When you give yourself a PB, then you kind of like say that that's it. That That's how good I am. I don't think that's Saeed's PB, whatever he's done. I always tell him he can do better. I ain't impressed if he gives me a first or a PB or... I want better. I want better. I mean. Athletes coming out of Ethiopia at the moment. Ooh. Kajalka. Huh? I thought Kajalka was about to break. Uh, who's that? Moroccan world records. 1,500 meter indoor record. And then Tafira took it, beating Kajalka into second. I think the problem with Kajalka is being so tall, he lacks a little bit of a lean forward. Yeah? You need that lean forward to let gravity work with you, man. He's lacking that, just a little bit of a lean forward. Just lean forward. Yeah. You can see uh, Tafira had it when he leaned forward. He's got a leaning forward style, which is so much more economical, man. Just lean forward, just lean into it, my brothers. Huh? Lean. That's why when 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 Saeed joined his new club and they told him he was leaning too far forward, 
I had a bee in my bonnet about that. And so it's still got a lot of corrections to make in his technique. I, I'm, I'm working on that. I mean, <clears throat> working on it. Got to have that lean forward, man. That lean forward. That Tadesi lean forward. And you got to have that pendulum action going on with the head. Snake, 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 side to side like a uh, Uzi. Gerham, Gebre Selassie, huh? The Eritrean, hey, that guy snakes on the road, man. <laughs> Ooh, windy, windy. Yeah. He's putting some coughs here on Mr. Bikili. Have you seen, have you seen the guy? <laughs> the size of this guy's coughs, my, my days. Huh? Bang, bang, bang. Let's put in some coughs there. Put in some coughs. And we're on 10, 11 minutes. Yeah, I don't want this video to carry on for too long. I mean, I just wanted to come on here to say, what's your guys' opinion about <clears throat> Kenyan Issa dropping out of the Tokyo Marathon? Yay or nay? Give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down if uh, you think he shouldn't have dropped out. Give it a <laughs> thumbs down, thumbs up if you think Kenyan Issa's bik bikili is finished. Yeah? Have you written him off yet? You, oh ye of little faith. <laughs> huh? Ye oh, of little faith. This picture I'm drawing of uh, Mr. Bikili was when he, in his track days, when he still had the body of a young man. Very really small, uh, but muscular. You know, now I think he's, he's his skeleton. He's kind of like filled out his frame, you know. And, uh, so he's carrying a, carrying a bit more muscle on him and the bone density as well from the years of pounding, pounding the road. So this guy ain't done for, man. The power in this guy, he ain't done. Just got to get a few things adjusted. Take some time out. Let's not forget, Bikili was unstoppable before his, uh, his girlfriend passed away that he used to train with. And then to come back from that, you know, hats off. I, I really admire champions that come back from that. <laughs> I can't even come back from a <laughs> from minor setbacks. You know, it's hard. You know, not easy. But these guys, they do it. They do it. Uh, so yeah, give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down. Give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down if you think my drawings. If you want to see more of my drawings here, yeah? uh, do you like these videos where I'm going to be sketching out these guys? Let's put his wedding ring on there. By the way, Mr. Bikili is married. Let's put his wedding ring on there. There you go. See that? It's his wedding ring. It's got K, K. Bikili written there. K. Bikili. Yeah? All right. So, I'll finish this off. Leta Migreta. I'll finish this off at home. Try and put some sort of a face on him. Right now, I'm hungry. I need to carb up and get some vegan breakfast. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Mm. Come on, my brother. <laughs>